before. I don't want to mess around with the with this type of injury. Um, so just trying to figure out, you know, the best steps after receiving the information from the MRI tomorrow. Dan Wykey, please. Anthony, were they able to give you just a couple quick questions? Were they able to give you any kind of update as to the possible severity of it? Um, like, it, you know, obviously the worst in this case is a tear. Were they able to tell you anything in their initial examination? Um, <clears throat> not really. I mean, you kind of learn a lot from the MRI. So kind of just waiting on that. Um, we get to see more on that film. Um, so just kind of waiting on that to, to see, um, now, obviously, the doctors don't want to rule out anything and then it's something or say it's something that it's not. But um, they said everything looks good, but they, you know, you still want the MRI just to make sure. And, and because of the nature of this um, and because now it's been it's twice now, um, how much more cautious do you think you want to be with it and in, in coming back? Um, I, was, I felt great coming back the first time uh, against Memphis and um now I'm gonna do the same thing, same steps to to get it back right. Uh, obviously, be a little bit more uh, smarter with it, um, which I think I was smart the first time, but um, even more smarter. You know, up the treatment more instead of you know three times a day, maybe five times a day, just trying to get it back where it needs to be to go out there and help the team. Um, but like I said, all that will dictate on uh, the information I receive tomorrow uh, from the MRI um, to be able to move forward to get back on the floor. Okay, Kyle Goon, please. Hey, AD, I was just double checking something. I, I thought I heard you say uh, into the initial my question, sprain, and, and Frank said strain. Uh, uh, I was just trying to make sure. Yeah, what, strain. Strain, okay. And, and um, just um, what are you, uh, what, what what sort of, are you, are you wearing ice right now, or, or what are you outfitted with to kind of keep, keep that area protected uh, while you're, Leaving the arena tonight. Yeah, uh, um, I iced it already, and they kind of put like these uh, heel lifts. You know, if you say in my shoe to kind of take a little bit of stress off the Achilles. Um, that's kind of what I've been playing in as well. Just adding some stuff. Excuse me. Inside my shoe to uh, to kind of help out with that. And then at nighttime, wear you know <clears throat> sleeves and I don't know what it's called, but it keeps my Achilles flexed where. Um, you know, it's not shortening, shortening uh, the Achilles. Okay, we're just going to do two last questions. Um, Bill Oren, please. Hey, D, um, I know you said that you feel like you guys were smart with this, but there, there was maybe room to be smarter. Is there any part of your, any piece of your mind where you feel like maybe you shouldn't have come back from that and get just given it more time to rest and, and more heal? Uh, no, I feel like I was ready to go. Training staff, I feel like I was ready to go. Um, did. Uh, pick up the day before the Memphis game and felt fine. <clears throat> um, woke up the next day, felt fine. So, um, you know, I think we did all the right steps to come back. And, um, you know, after the Memphis game, it, you know, uh, felt, felt good. The next day, Saturday, it felt good yesterday. And um, all up today, it felt great. Uh, felt great in the first quarter. Uh, felt great. Uh, for the time I was in for the second quarter until the last play. So um, you know, I think it just, you know, the, the, the way I moved and stepped kind of just re-aggravated that, that injury. Um, but I don't think I rushed to come back. Okay. And last question, Dave McMenamin, please. Eddie, uh, first of all, when Kyle asked if you were wearing ice, you just said you were wearing it around your neck. That was would have been the proper <laughs> answer. Um, you, what type of pressure you put on yourself? to play through injuries. Um, you know, I remember talking to you after the finals, you were doing round the clock treatment, obviously finals, higher stakes than regular season game, but what's it like for you mentally um, trying to know your body and, and test your body's limits? Yeah. Um, something I kind of just been dealing with my whole career, just having that injury bug. And I kind of just, you know, overcame it um, last year, even my last couple of years in New Orleans, uh, just playing through injuries and, and, you know, knowing what my body can take, knowing what it can handle, and um, something minor, you know, it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll go out there and play. And like I said, I even felt like I was fine enough to go out there and play um, the other day against Memphis with the same injury. Um, but it's the injury's a little different, you know. Uh, 
because it is an Achilles, and you you definitely want to make sure um, it doesn't lead to anything worse. So, um, but I'll put a lot of pressure on myself to go out there um, to play. You know, if I feel like I can go out there and play, I will. Just for the simple fact, I want to be able to help my team. Um, and I can help my team from the sidelines, but I think I'm more effective when I'm on the floor. Um, and they pay me to play. You know, I go out there and try to compete at the highest level um, and do what I can to help this team. Um, and so, you know, that means me going out there and, and playing through some minor, um, you know, bumps and bruises. Then, you know, that's what it is. But, you know, this one's a little different that I definitely have to be smart with. Um and don't want to go out there and try to be Superman and risk it for the long time. So, like I said, all that is inclusive on what the MRI shows tomorrow. Um, you know, not going to worry. It's great information, and um, I'll be out there sooner than later.